Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're going well today. Um, I'm just going to film a makeup video today using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, which my sister actually got for her birthday from some friends and said I could borrow it for a video. So thanks to my sister. I don't think she watches my videos, but anyway, um, let's jump straight into it then. Okay, so first of all, I'm actually going to put some tape on my eyes um, just to act as a barrier so we get a nice sharp line. I'm just going to quickly do that off camera so I'll be right back. Okay so tape is on and we are all ready to go. Starting as per usual with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair Claire to um, start our eyeshadow base. Just blending that out with a Damp Beauty Blender. Now obviously you don't have, just with the Beauty Blender, you don't have to um, buy a proper Beauty Blender. I did just because I wanted to invest in one and like it's no different to any other sponge that I had ever used before. Um, but they are pretty good and they're like good squishy and stuff. Mine's like dirty as, I was just trying to clean it before this video, I cleaned all my brushes. Um, but yeah, I was trying to clean my beauty blender and like I could not, could not get like anything out. And I've also ripped it there. I think I like shoved my finger into it. Anyway, um, so the concealer is on and I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and dipping into Tempera, that one just there, and um, putting that all over the lid. Well, to um, set the concealer in place. This palette has, well from that shade, I got a lot of kickback, which is when you dip into the palette and it, oh, I don't know if you can see it, but it like comes off in the pan, like, I don't know, yeah. Which is fine, like it's just going to sit in there, but it's a bit annoying to, you can kind of waste product that way. Anyway, um, gonna, I'm just going to quickly grab a better mirror. Let's see this one. I need to get a mirror, like a little circle mirror or something. Because um, I have a mirror behind me so I can see, because this viewfinder doesn't flick up. So I have a mirror behind me so I can see. So if you see me like going like that, just checking if I'm still filming or if I'm in frame or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use this mirror to do the eyes. Um, I think I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange, which is this um, one just here. And I'm just going to begin blending that um, into the crease. Whoa, that is pigmented. Jeez. Wow, this is so nice. Holy moly. Maybe I'll have to invest in this palette for myself. Because, <laughs> you know, my sister won't let me use it all the time. Wow, that is, blends out very lovely as well. I got really excited the other day, I went on to Morphe and I found a really nice palette that I wanted to get and a brush set, but it was $40 American dollars and plus $34 shipping. So I was like, it's actually $6 more for the products. Like you're making me pay $34 for shipping. I was like, no, thank you. So, um... Can you get Morphe in Australia anywhere? Because I hear, I have heard before that you can, but I don't know where. I tried to look it up, but I didn't get an answer. So if you guys could tell me, that would be great. Because I'd love to buy it, because I need, really need new brushes. They had like a full eye brush set. Um, and like Morphe's quite cheap. It's just annoying because it's from America. So you have to pay almost the same amount for your products you do for shipping. Um, anyway. Okay, I'm going to go in now with Raw Sienna, which is just next to 
burnt orange and it's just a bit of a deeper browny colour. I'm going to take it on this um, tapered brush and focus it more on the V and a little bit into the crease just to blend. So I take that on the edge and just packing that on to the V area of my eye. And just using it to um, darken up the crease as well. And of course doing the same on the other eye. Okay, now that that is done, just going back in with our fluffy blending brush and back in with burnt orange just to um, blend around the edges to make it seamless, of course. As always, blending is the most important part of our eyeshadow. We don't want any harsh lines. Okay, now that um, that is done, I'm going to take a... Um, this brush, a bit of a packing brush, and I'm going to go in with, um, this brush isn't wet or anything, so I'm just going to see how the shadows go without it wet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with Vermeer, that shade, just there, I think it's, you say, I think it's pronounced Vermeer, um, and Oh, it packs onto the brush well, so hopefully it goes on to the eyelid. Like, that picked up a lot of, um, well, sorry. Can you see that? That picked up a lot of product. Alright, and just putting that onto the eyelid. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. That is stunning. Wow. That is so Pretty. Wow. I'm impressed. Very impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I don't know why. This eye, is it just... Oh no, they're fine. In my mirror, this eye looks like um, the shadows aren't showing up as much. But it's probably just my angle of lighting. Because when I look in the mirror, it's fine. Wow. Wow, wow, well, wow. Well. Very impressed with that palette. Alright. Um, I'm going to peel off the um, sticky note. And we have nice sharp lines on the eyes. I'm so basic with my eyeshadows. Always do like a brown smoky eye with um, gold or something. Like a colour like this on the lid. Um, anyway, moving on to the face now and then I'll come back to that palette to finish off the under eyes. Just quickly, I'm going to go clean this mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so I just cleaned um, the mirror I was using and we are ready to move on to the face. I've already moisturised my face today, so we're going shading with primer and today I'm going to be taking... Oh, give me a sec. Sorry, it wasn't in its usual spot, which is always hard. <laughs> um, going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, yeah, just the usual. Squirting a bit out and putting it on your face. Um, I used this primer... Oh, when I was working for my dad last week. So I used this primer on the Monday and my skin got really um, oily and then on the Tuesday I used my um, this one, the pore minimizing one and my makeup lasted all day, it didn't go oily at all so because I'm only filming a video I'm going to wash this off after uh, I just thought I'd use this, the photo finish one because it is like a good primer, I just get oily skin throughout the day which is why the pore minimizing one works better because it's mattifying as well so it doesn't make me go oily. Alright, now for foundation. I'm actually going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way. Which I 
repurchased the other day and I'm in the shade light beige. This is my tanned colour so it is going to be dark on me. Um, but I'm going to use it anyway because my um, other one's almost out. So I don't know how much we'd get out of it. So yeah, going with this one. It's all fresh and new. Come on. Yay. Alright. So just dotting that on the face and blending it out. Oh my god, I've missed it. Okay, foundation is all blended. I also just quickly tied my hair back um, so that we can do the face easier. Uh, so now, of course, going in with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair Claire, putting that um, under our eyes to brighten. Um, chin center of our nose and of course the forehead. I also like to put a bit um, around my nostrils because for me I find my foundation kind of starts to like crease there and come off. Um, any foundation does that with me. I've lost my beauty bounder. There it is. Um, yeah, any foundation does that with me. So I just like to put concealer there and I find that it helps the foundation stay there longer. Just taking a flat brush and trying to get product that's not really in there <laughs> um, and just setting my face with that. Alright, our face is all set so now I'm going to finish off my eyes. Um, something to go on the lower lash line and mascara. I really wanted to just add a pop of colour, but nothing too bright. It's probably too much. I'm going to go in with this one. <laughs> Better something red. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. This one just here. I'm going to take it on this brush, which I got in like an eyeshadow palette ages ago. Um, and run that along the lower lash line. <gasps> oh. Can you guys see that? I just dotted it on my face. Oh, you kidding me? Okay, so I finished off my lower lash line, highlighted my inner corners. I just used the same colour we used on the lid and blended it, blended it into the inner corner more. And applied my mascara. I really, I have false lashes to use, but I don't have any lash glue. So I need to get some lash glue and then I will be able to put falsies on. Anyway, moving on to contour, highlighter and blush, of course. Um, going in with the Too Faced Coco Contour Kit as usual and taking Dark Coco just there. Contour is done, so taking my Sweet Peach Glow palette as usual as well and taking this brush and applying some blush. I'm using the same palette for the highlighter and taking this more tapered brush for to highlight. Uh, this is like <laughs> empty and it's really sad. All 
Alrighty, and for lips today, I'm so excited to use this because I bought it the other day. You would have seen it in my vlog. Um, the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mecca. So you're just going to, of course, apply that to the lip. Oh my god, I am obsessed. It's so pretty. Um, so now we're going to set our face with the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. Alright, and that is all for today's video. Thanks guys so much for watching. I am obsessed with this palette. Like, oh, it is really pretty and... I don't know how much it is, but I know that it's quite pricey, but I reckon it's worth its price. Like, first of all, the colours are, like, beautiful. Like, you can do so many different looks with it. You can do a pinky kind of look, or you can do what I did with the browns and the goldy shades. And, yeah, I just think it's a really pretty palette. So, I do rate that, and I love the lipstick as well. So, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe um help me grow my channel please and i will see you in my next video bye guys